So, what I recommend doing is unboxing everything and setting it out. There will be times where these were the puzzle pieces I was talking about. Hi. These are the puzzle pieces I was talking about that will um, fit in in certain spots only. So you can kind of start to plan around that. So here I have a um, point. So I know that it could go here, but that's too big. So then I'm looking for where else I have a point. So that's one way you can do it. Or you can also pull up the planogram. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is just the puzzle that you've got to figure out. And you, but because I have such an audience. So you see how this fits here? Yeah. Then let there be light. And then shove this in as much as you can. Nope, it's the same on the linear. This is the same part. Oh, the front part? Okay. This, I'm telling you. This is. Oh, right, yes, it is. It goes. And tell me how you knew it went right there without even looking. I would just guess because I used to play that game as a kid. The way he knew that it went right in the middle without even looking is this notch. Remember, we talked about that? But I'm going to show you something super important about this piece because this is the first one we've gotten to like this. So remember how I said on the bottom shelf, which is where you have your testers, you are going to have a very flimsy, easily bendable, unattached graphic and then your acrylic. So you want to be careful with that graphic. Keep it with the acrylic and place it you all at the very beginning. So it starts like this, but wait, there's more. <laughs> like this. Mm -hmm. So um, you know it goes right on the edge because of this notch. So it's good too. We don't need to. So, so what I'm going to tell you is they set this in differently the last time I saw it. So it was a piece like this with another piece that went under it that had these colors. So I like this better. So hopefully this is how we get it, okay? So we set that there. What else? We this. Where do you think this goes? Do you see how this is all together? So you've got a lot of layer ups. Where do you think this goes without even looking? Why? That's right there. Okay. Without even looking, why do you know this goes on the corner? Oh, the notch. The notch. Perfect. So some of those sheets will help you out a lot. And then when you set it on and this thing comes off, just line it back up. No. No, that's how it is. I have other things. Okay. So, you know, this I'm building off of the puzzle. I'm not looking. Someone can check me. That really goes there. And then, the, nope. That goes. That actually goes. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured that out when I got the next piece of the puzzle. So now we have our first floor, our first floor set. Okay. So um, we just have to pick up this top piece real quick. This isn't that tough, but you don't want to have to do it if you can prevent it. So what I didn't realize... Um, you need over here? Because I didn't pull the power, I need one more power. So well, I, I, we I need to pop this there. up. Nope, that's for this. That's going to be used over there. This middle one, it plugs in two. Yeah, yep. if you want to do this one, I got one here. Right oh, sorry, plug that. Oh, I did perfect. it just in case we had this. Yep, so it's not that hard. To add additional pointer, but you don't want to have to. You want you it. Come through here. So that middle one, the 
this big one takes two, which I didn't realize. I didn't plug it in the other one. There is? There is. There is a graphic. Yeah, there's seven. That's how it goes. And you're going to plug it in in the two spots for some reason. And then. This needs to seat correctly. There you go. Make sure you jiggle it a little bit to make sure it's seated because you don't want to break that. I can tell this sits here because it fits in the space, but as I look, um, when you merchandise stock, you want it to be visible. So I know I needed to turn that around like that. Yep. That goes there, like that. So the way you know it fits like this is because if you try it like this, it just doesn't quite match. So your picture is not gonna tell you that exactly, but that's how this goes. And then um, I know the lip goes to the far left. So you'll see there's a little channel for you to try to put the wires into up here. So uh, take a picture of that. Um, okay, so now we have that set. So uh, this is number 30, um, 38, 37, and 39. I think it all comes together. Um, this is 56. So the important call out, I'm going to take a quick photo and then I'm going to tell you why. So the important call out is this. I'm gonna call them huggers. It's gonna hug like that, and then you're gonna set it up. Then it's, this still needs to fit in the um, acrylic hole below and it will. Okay. This is exactly the same piece, is because they both have our corner notch, and the same cutout, and so we have to push the wire to the side. You don't, do you want that cutout piece up here on the front side? Nope. The cutout piece should go towards the back, I believe. Um, maybe I'm wrong. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I think I'm wrong, actually. Sorry. So the cutout piece goes to the front. So then we have some layer of components here, which I think is what Allison broke. No. <laughs> For your teams. So um, these shelf strip extrusions are interesting because um, they don't always go on the nicest so um, especially where you have power they tend to uh, not lay flat because they don't take into account the extra area needed for the light box. Tuck it behind it? The wire might be in this. The great news is we have a linear pull it, here. Pull it out a little bit on the right side so that you can sort of slide it in here on the first. Can we lift this a little bit? So, this okay. Yep. So, this, remember what I said about this? That it is um, super high quality. We have a right? problem. Houston. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So you're going to push these acrylics back a little bit to make room for that shelf strip. You're gonna... So I think what we learned here is to set the shelf strips before the acrylic. Okay, so when you do this, do the shelf strips first, peel them before you put them on, or peel them right when you put them on, because right now the acrylic is blocking where I can peel. Yeah. Free to take photos of anything in the store. Um, what we have done is we've 
you know, taken up the plastic, taken a ton of pictures, put the plastic back. So we just want to make sure that we're respectful of that plastic. Um, and keep in mind that some of the easier trays that arrived this morning, they sat without us. So um, even if you think you took pictures of everything, there's some stuff set today. So um, 